Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've been talking a lot about the Nikon Z6 and Z7. The lead up to them was very exciting and now they've been announced and there's a lot of, um, it's gone viral. And there's a lot of talk and argument and controversy, single card slots, XQD. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, we've got John writing in and it's entitled his email, Nikon Z6. Hey Matt, it seems the new Nikon mirrorless cameras are making waves in both directions, good and bad. A lot of discussion about the one memory slot, but what do you think about the Z6 having an OLPF? Even the lower end Nikon models don't have the OLPF optical low pass filter for those of you that um, weren't aware of what that acronym was. Uh, For me, the image quality is more important than the one card slot. What do you think? Thanks and love your channel, John B. Well, John, uh, thank you for your question. Good question, because you're right. A lot of them uh, don't. A lot of cameras have moved away from having those bare filters or optical low-pass filters over the the sensor. My answer is, first of all, I don't think I've shot a camera from Nikon where I went, oh my God, there's an optical low-pass filter on here, and that is why I don't like these images. I'm not sure I've ever shot a Nikon DSLR that didn't make decent images. And certainly of recent times, Fantastic. Love the D810. Love the D610. The D750. 7200. 7100. Um, 850. It was bloody amazing. Um, so I guess what I'm seeing here is from what I've seen so far with the Z6 and the Z7, the image quality looks pretty darn good to me. And they have gone to great lengths. I believe it's Tom that keeps saying Nikon is an imaging company that happens to make cameras or something along those lines. I'm paraphrasing. In other words, The new lens system is what we should be concentrating on. They are trying to bring us the ultimate in image quality, and I think they're going to do that. I mean, who else is going to bring us a 58 mil 0.95 knocked? Um, And I guess what I'm saying with all of that, that the preamble is, um, I don't think they're going to deliver a camera with an OLPF that's going to cause issues or cause quality concerns with this huge investment of R&D and time and money and glass that they're doing with these new Z mounts. So I guess I'm just saying from what I've seen, no, I don't see it being a problem. Have you seen a bad image um, from the Z6 and Z7? Now, granted, we're going to be seeing a lot more soon. I think all you're going to be seeing, though, is being even more blown away as the mature firmware hits the camera for sale. And we see that the true ability of these this new Z mount. I think people are under underestimating just how freaking awesome this new Z mount is, and the lenses that are going to come with it. So no, I don't think their choice of an OLP filter on there is a problem. In fact, quite the contrary. I think it's supposed to be there for better tonality and tweak. I don't know if it, it makes it better for. I don't, I don't see how it would be better for low light. But that camera is supposed to be a better low light camera. Nikon has their reasons for why they put it there, and from what I'm seeing, they made a good decision. I haven't seen any any reason to not like the camera because it has an OLPF. Let me throw it back to you guys. Do you think John uh, uh, point here is something to be concerned about? Do you think the the fact that it has an OLPF does it bother you, or are you more like the way I'm looking at it? That hey, the images look amazing. This new Z mount system is incredible. I don't think Nikon's done anything to hamper that. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments below about the Z6 having an OLPF. It's kind of a little surprising that the Z7 doesn't and the Z6 does. But again, I'm sure there's engineering reasons for that. Nikon's a pretty smart, pretty solid engineering company. I've always been very impressed with their with their gear. So let me know what you guys think. Should it have had one? Shouldn't it have had one? Do you think, have you seen an image that indicates there's a problem with it having one? Or is this just uh, us who aren't engineers talking out our butts? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, like I said, I I think from what I've seen of image quality, it's fantastic, and I don't th- I think it's only going to get better as the uh, firmware matures for release. So um, I don't think it's a problem. But I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for writing in, John. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.